हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल बी ट्यूटोरियल्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट इफेक्ट ऑफ एक्सिस एयर द इफेक्ट ऑफ नाइट्रोजन इन एयर एफिशिएंट एंड परफेक्ट कंबशन ड्यू पॉइंट एंड इट्स इफेक्ट ऑन कोल्ड एंड इक्विपमेंट ऑफ ए बॉयलर इफेक्ट ऑफ एक्सिस एयर if more excess air is supplied than required it will result in lowering the furnace temperature increasing heat loss through the chimney gas additional auxiliary power required to handle excess air less heat absorption in radiant zone superheaters increasing furnace temperature which have bad effect on the structure and component of furnace in complete combustion the excess air requirement is influenced by the physical state of the fuel in combustion chamber the size of the fuel particle or in case of fuel oil its viscosity the proportion of inert matter present the design of the furnace the fuel burning equipment burners hardware etc degree of turbulence provided in the combustion area with the fuel and air combustion air temperature and characteristic of fuel the effect of nitrogen in air nitrogen being an inert gas it usually take no useful part in chemical reaction since it is present in air in large proportion it helps to keep the combustion temperature very low oxygen being very less in proportion compared to nitrogen presence of nitrogen retard the intimate mixing of fuel with oxygen oxygen being very less in proportion compared to nitrogen presence of nitrogen retard the intimate mixing of the fuel with oxygen in certain combustion condition it retracts with oxygen and produce nox nitrogen oxide such as n2o no no2 no3 etc which pollutes the air the products of combustion that pass away through the combustion chamber to the chimney are called flue gases and the flue gas mainly consist of products like uh, water vapor co2 and co so2 and nitrogen the other probable components of uh, flue gases can be nitrogen oxide which is an atmospheric pollutant and is formed by high furnace temperature with more oxidation effect with the excess oxygen supplied with combustion air for analysis of a composition of flue gases and apart called or set apart is generally used in boilers the basic requirement necessary to be fulfilled for an efficient and perfect combustion installations are as follows throughout mixing of fuel and air optimum fuel air ratio leading to most complete combustion possible and maintain over full load range ready and accurate response of rate of fuel feed to load demand continuous and reliable ignition of fuel practical distillation of uh, volatile components of coal followed by adequate action covered as above adequate control over point of formation and accumulation of ash when coal is in fuel the term combustion efficiency measures the effectiveness of the combustion reaction and is defined as follows combustion efficiency is equal to heat released during the combustion divided by heat contained in the fuel 
the combustion efficiency can also be expressed in term of ultimate co2 of the fuel the ultimate co2 represents 100% combustion efficiency in the following way efficiency is is equal to co2 into 100 divided by u where co2 is the percentage in the flue gas and u is the ultimate co2 of the fuel dew point and its effect on cold and equipment of a boiler the flum of a moisture combined with substance like soot having traces of so2 so3 potassium sulfate and sodium sulfate depending upon the fuel characteristics from corrosive acid namely sulfuric or sulfurous acid causing thorough attack on steel surface resulting in corrosion and wasting such corrosion is termed as low temperature corrosion lower the dew point lower are the chances of corrosion and vice versa higher the sulfur content in fuel higher will be the rate of corrosion excessive use of steam suit blowers will augment corrosion remedial measures are as follows to avoid corrosion in economizer tubes the flue gas temperature must be maintained well above the dew point temperature design of exit flue gas test must be done upon the dew point temperature of condensable vapor in the flue gases cold and corrosion could be reduced by injection of ammonia into flue gases which neutralize the acids but ammonia fumes cause nuisance to surrounding locality ideally in environment control problems smooth and the causes of its emission determination of volumetric analysis of dry products of combustion or flue gases will describe in detail in next video so friends if you like this video then like and share also don't forget to subscribe this channel and press bell icon for getting notification of my upcoming videos